The Space Concordia Robotics Division is a multidisciplinary group of undergraduate and graduate students from Concordia University in Montreal, Canada. Within our team, we have subteams that handle different responsibilities for each aspect of the project. The following image shows our team structure. In addition, we are participating in the European Rover Challenge because we believe there is valuable experience and knowledge to gain within each respective subteam. Competing with others puts the team in an environment that forces us to ensure our systems meet requirements and are reliable enough to complete the tasks within the scope of the competition. The rover uses a custom-made power distribution system that interfaces with the batteries and distributes power to the rest of the system. It has firmware that actively monitors and can cut power to components with irregular behavior. The rover is also coupled with high-level operator software that displays electrical status for each motor and overall system, with a soft emergency stop for cutting power to motors and other electrical components. Within this high-level software, there are video feeds and sensor feedback to assist the operators. This allows for manual control of the rover, either with PlayStation 4 controllers or keyboard controls. Yep. A big aspect of the safety system is the inclusion of a physical hard emergency stop that instantly cuts power to the rover in its entirety. The electrical system of the rover is designed to safely deliver power to actuators and obtain sensor values and consists of the batteries, two PDS power distribution system devices, the main board, motor drivers, and the arm sensors. The rover's triple bogey suspension has proven effective in the past and has been enhanced this year with CNC machines links to increase its stability. The mobile platform's height has also been further reduced to lower the center of gravity of the rover, increasing its stability over a steep terrain. The manipulator has 5 degrees of freedom with compliant digits that allow it to grip around objects, improving its grip strength without causing damage or marring the items. The arm has also undergone a complete redesign, with new gearboxes and arm pivots that were designed to reduce backlash and improve maintenance. The new arm is also considerably more modular, allowing us to change out the gearboxes in under a minute if needed, and allowing for more devices to be added, such as our absolute encoders, the DLP Near Scan Nano, or our upcoming LIBS fiber mount. The arm is also optimized to reduce weight with topologically optimized plates and better use of material netting a 1.2 kilogram reduction in weight. The absolute encoders allowed us to implement inverse kinematics, which considerably improved the dexterity of our arm and allows us to perform complicated manipulation of equipment. This is in addition to our more powerful motors which allow the arm to move faster while lifting the same load. The rover makes use of an Oster 3D LiDAR and Z2 depth sensing camera in order to map terrain and localize itself within its environment. Water cooling was also added to the LiDAR base to improve thermals, increasing its accuracy. 
The rover is also coupled with AR tag detection for helping operators and our autonomous navigation system navigate the competition grounds. To test the hypothesis, BEEP will navigate the Mars Yard with a webcam allowing the team to monitor the site for interesting geological features. During this process, the images are compared to the created Excel database of physical and chemical characteristics of various known rock and mineral samples for identification. In addition, BEEP will measure the levels of nitrogen and phosphorus in soil with the NPK test and will analyze the water content of the rocks with the near-infrared spectrometer mounted on the arm of the rover. The level of acidity and alkalinity of the soil will get determined with a pH probe. The consistency of these results will lead to an evaluation of the hypothesis.